Good evening. We are out and about looking and listening to bats here on a very typical Irish laneway. Lovely double hedgerow behind us and we've got pipistrel bats flying around us at the moment. So it's about 30 minutes after dusk and we have nine species of bat in Ireland and the Lysers bat, our largest bat, will actually emerge around sunset. And then the pipistrels start to emerge around 20 minutes after sunset. So we've got soprano and common pipistrels flying around us at the moment. So I have two of the models of detectors that we talked about earlier. We have the, the yellow detector here and on it you can see the screen. And what this does is that it shows a spectrogram which is a picture of noise. And as noise is picked up, this is displayed on the screen. So you can see that there's yellow noises being picked up and that's literally just my voice. But when a bat comes through, you'll see these long elongated pulses uh, across the screen, and that is a bat. So each of our bat species has a particular shape to their call and a particular frequency range, and this allows us to actually identify the species that we're listening and hopefully seeing. And I've also got with me my our little uh, white Hetchstein bat detector, our tunable detector. So I've turned up the sound of that so we'll hear the bats on this one while we'll see the bats on the yellow detector. So we'll just kind of stand here gently for a while and see and hear what we can see. And of course when you want the bats disappear but we'll be patient. But while we're standing here waiting for the bats, when it comes to your tunable detector, aren't oh, there's one coming in now? So you can hear it on the detector and you can see it on the display. Now if we try to actually pan the camera to see the bat, it'd be flying too fast for us to pick it up properly. Here we go again. Now for me to actually identify which of those pipistrels I'd have to tune the detector up and down. Um, so our common pipistrel comes in around 45 kilohertz, while the soprano pipistrel comes in best around 55 kilohertz. So what you do is with your detector, you take the detector and just kind of turn around here. With the dial, you'd actually turn the dial up and down. You go from about 35 kilohertz and slowly turn it up to 55 kilohertz. And as the bat is flying by, the sound will change. And when you hear the deeper, louder part of the call, you can look at your dial, and if it's around 45 kilohertz, it's a common pipistrel, and if it's around 55 kilohertz, it's a soprano pipistrel. While on the actual spectrogram, on the yellow one, you could actually see the call and when you actually see the kind of inverted L shape of the call, see it coming in there, perfect. And you can see the base of the call is just a, around 44 kilohertz. So that's telling us that that is a common pipistrel. So tomorrow night we're going to go down to the river and I'm going to see if we can actually pick up some dog bettings. So for tonight, enjoy the pipistrels. Thank you.